Hello, my name is Sally. I'm a Qigong teacher based in the UK and currently in Thailand. I would like to present Pushing Waves Qigong. It's one of the moves from the Taiji Qigong Shibashi Wan form. Pushing Waves has its own medicine, so I'd like to show you the movement, explain the breathing, and then come back to the screen and summarize the applications for good health and well being from this particular movement. So, pushing waves then. We shift the weight over onto one foot, make sure all the weight goes down through that side. As we step forward with the other foot, not too far, and stay wide in your stance. Make yourself comfortable, make sure, step back a bit, make sure that your knees are safe, they're not twisted in any way, that you're comfortable. And then your hands, the back of the hands, just get a little bit closer to the screen, the back of the hands goes to the corners of the chest, about that far away. <clears throat> And the movement, you are pushing as if pushing on a body of water. It's called pushing waves. So you're pushing, but everything is soft. Wrists, elbows, shoulders, they're all soft. And then as if that wave comes back easily to the beach behind you, you just ride the wave back. Pushing forwards and pulling back. As you move forwards, that's your out breath, make sure that you're fully empty of air before you ride back on your in breath. Pushing waves, so you might imagine that you're standing in a beautiful, lovely temperature sea or body of water and that your hands are easily floating on the top of it and that there is actually some tension there especially when you're pushing. So really imagine that you are pushing on something. I'll show you the full movement and I'll show you from the side. And so in this movement, as we go forward, the heel comes up. And as you go back, the front toe comes up. And when you have got the movement, then drop everything, your attention and your breath down to the lower belly. And so as you're doing this movement really, and really imagining that you're pushing on a body of water and then easily coming back, it's a great exercise for the wrists, that's the first thing in a Western, from a Western point of view. You drop down into the lower belly and you're moving from the lower belly. So we've taken the energy out a little bit from the head and dropped it down into the lower belly. That's always a, a good thing to do for any sort of anxiety or worry. And I'll just swap feet so we then go on the other side. And so basically from a Chinese medicine point of view, we're massaging the soles of the feet which is a very calming, centering, grounding thing to do. We're doing it in time with the breath, which is novel. We don't usually move in time with the breath, so the body, the nervous system is taking up something slightly different, which is always awakening. And we're also playing with the palms of the hands, and the palms of the hands, especially the centre point, called palace of toil, in translation, it's a very calming point. It's one that would be needled for any sort of anxiety to calm people down. I'll just come back to the screen and summarize the nuances. So the particular medicine, I would say, of pushing waves is, is calm. Um, it's you're held in a sea, you are dropped down to the lower belly in your attention and your breath, so the mind is not going too fast. You are emphasizing that by the massage of the soles of the feet, rocking to and fro, 
There are calming points in the soles of the feet and the palms of the hands which are being activated. Thank you for watching.